For each one of us, we have someone in our lives that we can look back and say, man, am I glad that that person came into my life. They came to my life and they gave me wisdom. They helped guide me. They put their arms around me in times of struggles. Sometimes they taught me something, but every time they were there for me. See, the place that I'm at right now is not my sanctuary. It's a sanctuary of a friend of mine by the name of Rick Caterley. And for 35 years, he spent time on this very field teaching young people how to play football. But he didn't just help the young people. He also put his arms around coaches such as me who really didn't know what they were doing and taught them the way the game of football would be played. See, it was the way the game was played. And it was the way that he put his arm around us. And it was the way that he shared things with us. There was something about him. There was a special way that he had. He had such wisdom, such knowledge, but he was so willing to share it with others. And he did it in such a way that it was never offensive. In fact, he'd put his arms around you in his big mitts and he'd grab you by your neck and pull you in. And he was always smiling and he was always caring. He did that for his players and he did that for his coaches. And over the years, you couldn't help but grow. Over the years, you couldn't help but know that you could turn to him. And over the years, he was so willing to be there for others. It was the way that he did it. Are we living in such a way that people can see that through us? Because what God called us to do was to love him and to love others and to separate ourselves in that way. In our work, in our schools, in our communities, in our homes, by the way that we live. Challenge yourself tonight to see if you are living in such a way that you are separating yourself and we'll talk more tomorrow.